all right what's good y'all so quick recap what happened in part two we um we talked to professor fig and he couldn't make it to the restricted area with us in the library so we ended up taking sebastian with us he taught us a new spell and we learned how to cloak a little bit more sneaky running around the halls of hogwarts now and um we ended up sealing the book, a, a secret book with some pages torn out. Eventually, we ended up having some visions of Isadora. And um, we find out that we are actually having these same uh, things having, happening to us where we can see ancient magic. Now, going forward, we're going to be trying doing some less exploring and more catching up on some of the missions that we've been failing to do because we keep getting lost in this huge world of Hogwarts. And now you can watch me get my butt kicked by four kids over and over again. All right. Hope you all enjoy. Peace out. Yeah. Absolutely. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. Come on, Natty. Let's go ahead and beat these four. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Tell you what, they be confringoing me left and right. Let me. They made a crap as breakfast down to me that round. Good to try again. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Try again. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. We'll be here all night fighting these four little kids. Hold up. Bro, uh. <laughs> so she she has something out for me because she's the only one sitting in front of the all four of them constantly hitting me. Can I need to focus again? her next. I'm going to grab this barrel real quick. I just throw it at. Akio! Incendio! You're done. You're done. You're better than that! Come on, Akio! Incendio! Incendio! You're better than that! There goes Incendio! No! I was so close! Care to try again? Getting worked. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Come here. You can have some. You look like you want some. Oh, I'm coming for you next. Don't worry. Akio. Uh huh. I know which shield you got. Uh -huh. No, I'm drinking the potion right now. Let me 
Come on. Incendio. Descendo. Accio. Come here. You're done. Expelliarmus. You too. I've had enough of you. Incendio. Let's jump fire real quick. Go. Come here. And this barrel on top of your head. Victory! Some big oh. hit that round. What's a victory? You've won uh -huh. the tournament! 1v4, because Natty didn't help me one bit. It was mostly luck, that's all. Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Thanks, Lucan. That means a lot. All right, now that we beat those little kids, take you to this next area. We're gonna take a 10 herbology class. Might be a little over level for this, because this is level three. We haven't really been following the story as much. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would. We have been doing a lot of exploring and side quests, so I think it's about time to get back on the main, the main story. The biggest thing that's been holding me back in this game so far has been performance issues. That's, I would say that's pretty much the biggest thing. I've been trying a lot of testing, get it run smoothly. I, mean, I still can't even stream it at this point. It's just, it's not in the cards until they, uh, until I see some dramatic improvements and stabilization in this game. Even right here, the 32 gigabytes of RAM, I'm popping to 30s. In, in an area I've been a million times. I'd rather have Hopefully we end up seeing a new update. <laughs> All right, let's go attend herbology class. Just onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Firm tug. Thing was angry, the little baby. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm 
very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Cool. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not Professor Nocrops. Garlic. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how Let's to balance my staff this arrangement. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, Wiganweld as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Wiganweld potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased in the Magic Neap and can be grown in pots of any size. Ooh. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. All right. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Oh, Pruitt, you. Nice to meet you. Me, I'm you Leander. Just fought. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. I remember but you. Your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go. Now, quick. see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that. Ah. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The no, kind of plants that just have your tubers. back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okay. Take your time. Appreciate I'll see you, you back in class. Revelio. Trying to learn Alohomora. Go ahead and unlock some of these doors. Whew. 
Oh, wrong way, I guess. Sheesh. Let's just go through here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Herbology class. Good thing Higawa yes. was there to talk. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my hearing. Collect some more to of these anything, real quick. We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse. See what's in her quest. Potions class. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit high. We, we should have been done this by now. It's all good. We're having fun along the way. Maybe not all the explorations will make it into all my videos just because it may not be as interesting for everyone to watch. If y'all do want to see me like exploring and finding new things like caves and stuff like that, if I feel like it's something rare, of course I'll post it. But if it's just Shouldn't something normal, or someone from the ministry guarding the school it, after the I'm incident in Hogsmeade, just keep it to uh, cut scenes, my main story Shots elements. Desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Right, let's see. Let's get the mix in. The lime Use and the a strong, even up. motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. See what kind kind of concoction we're making up here. The best Wigan Whale potion you will ever see. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Quick learner. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade. You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Mm. 
My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors Did of- Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. See me in real life, I'd be like, eh, probably not, dude. Well, what do we do here? I can get you that feather and see. He might be creating a bomb. Who knows? Yeah, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna stick with this. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and get in trouble yourself. Don't pull me into your little shenanigans, all right? Gareth. Keep your I do want to see someone else's playthrough who might have done that, though. Um, Borgen Burks has increased the amount of duty of sign ordinary shop art. Your slots are full. Go ahead and get rid of something. Some of those whooper, whooper feathers. How do you say that? Whooper feathers. A well-prepared witch or wizard, all proficiency in potions are too. It cannot be rushed. What was that? Have patience and be thorough. Uh, I was really hoping I didn't have to do all that um, extraness. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Get it! Oh! oh. Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. You. I swear. We in the same house, my guy. Why? I told you not to do it. Now you just out here getting everyone in trouble. You know what? Take it. Take his cauldron away. Take it. Make another one of these because I might need more. Give me, give me that. Akio. Give me that cauldron. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. All right, let's go show them my potion. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwopper feather. 
this time. That'll be all. So he knew I took it. Hmm. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one Rebellion. day. Class is dismissed. One coin. So Nicholas, our house ghost. You can find him near the Great Hall. Whoop a feather. Whooper. Whooper feather. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from that inspiration for the rest of the time. All right. I mean, you speak to Headless Nick. What are you up to now? We're on a mission to stay on task. I adore you. Hogsmeade is the only way. Spit out my breakfast. Not sure it sent the right message. I'll take an odorous projectile any day. They're a bargain if you ask me. I never feel anxious about using up a stink pellet. I dropped two outside the library last week. Stink pellet? Yes, it was fantastic. Scribner was fed as a tiny fireball. Mm. I think I'd rather put my tongue to a fireball than a Scribner. The smoke was so thick, I reckon I could have sneaked into the Is this you, Gareth? Hey, it's me, oh, Gareth. Do you have a moment? That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. Well, for certain, you'd have helped. I'm glad I avoided oh, trouble. Thank you, Gareth. Sharp certainly seemed upset with you. His yeah. bark's worse than his bite. I think deep down he respects my artistic spirit. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. All right, buddy. Whatever you say. Don't get me involved in your uh, little you again. Uh, yes, you. I want. You want to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Rebellion. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. What would that favor be? Sir Nicholas? Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Off on another adventure, are we? I beg your pardon. Roast beef? 
Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, Revelio. if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything Back else. Here. Of course. Revelio. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Accio. Levioso. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Here was giggling. A student Never will in the kitchen. Students. What Plenty could they want? Delicious food and what found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Thank you. So helpful. Ugh, this there's a disgusting like smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Finky supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Hmm, interesting. Are well, there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help to meet you as well. Please give Nick All Finky's right, Finky. regards. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, just, oh. along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to nice. hear it. Kind yeah. out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? 
Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. All right. Do stay behind him. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Er, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want as if i need to ask um it, it's richard jackdaw uh, where can we find him uh, may we speak to him jackdaw eh why here he is now what a shame without his head i bet you've always wondered what that's like eh nick <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir you jest <sighs> It's bound to be around here somewhere, probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. But, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. So they won't let him join because his head isn't completely severed. He has a little piece of tendon. Game. That is unfortunate for him. I like the candles on the other side of the bridge. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins hello again can you help me ah sir nicholas's young friend has he abandoned you not at all i need to speak to richard jackdaw sir patrick said his head might be around here somewhere indeed it might be hmm it is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal but if you do wish to speak with him oh why not you can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember! The game's not over until you find him five times. Easy. Begin! Cast away and... Discover the 
Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Oh, what fun! A stick this way! Here we go again. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. Where are you going with the head? Well, good job, I guess. But we're not through with you. Let's go, Lem. Put down the head. Let's go find her. Oh, what fun! A student is playing! I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Is it over yet? Are we still going? Incendio. I've never seen a plate like this. It's almost. How delightful. Incendio. Oh, what fun! A student is playing! Get that page served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge, but what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first, but Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Nice. Alright y'all, I think we'll stop there before I get any further. Um pick up where we left off on the next video. And let me know if you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. And please tell me in the comments. Alright, peace out everyone. Have a good night.